Today's parable is a tough one. It comes from Matthew 22, starting at verse 1. And again Jesus spoke to them in parables, saying, The kingdom of heaven may be compared to a king who gave a wedding feast for his son, and sent his servants to call those who were invited to the wedding feast, but they would not come. Again he sent other servants, saying, Tell those who are invited, see, I have prepared my dinner, my oxen and my fat calves have been slaughtered, and everything is ready. Come to the wedding feast. But they paid no attention and went off, one to his farm, another to his business, while the rest seized his servants, treated them shamefully, and killed them. The king was angry and sent his troops and destroyed those murderers and burned their city. Then he said to his servants, the wedding feast is ready, but those invited were not worthy. Go therefore to the main roads and invite to the wedding feast as many as you find. Those servants went out into the roads and gathered all whom they found, both bad and good. So the wedding hall was filled with guests. But when the king came in to look at the guests, he saw there a man who had no wedding garment. He said to him, Friend, how did you get in here without a wedding garment? And he was speechless. Then the king said to the attendants, Bind him hand and foot and cast him into the outer darkness. In that place there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. For many are called, but few are chosen. And this is a tough one because we see someone getting thrown out into the outer darkness. Um, I want to start with the, the first group that gets invited but chooses not to come. Because um, I think there's a parallel with different groups of people who choose not to to, who are exposed to the faith, who have the gospel, who have the spirit working in their lives, and they reject it. Um, one went off to his farm. One was too busy and went to work. Uh, another to his business. The, the finances, that, that was more important. Um, while the rest just rejected the message, rejected his servants. So we, we see that in today's world. We see people who choose other things, who put other things above their faith and, and choose above faith, period, um, and choose to reject the gospel. Um, so he invites whoever can be found, the bad and the good. And this is people who have come into the church. Um, and he provides them with uh, with an invitation in other versions of the parable you can hear uh, he kind of he provides clothes for a lot of people um, so the the clothing for the wedding garment the the parallel to draw here is uh, the the clo we are clothed with the blood of the lamb uh, because the wedding garment here is the kingdom of heaven uh, but then there's someone who's not dressed and he's kicked out. And, and that poses an issue for us. Because we're like, well, he was invited, he was brought in, but why? Uh, and then he got kicked out. So one possible way to understand this is uh, there are people in the church who do not have faith. They are in the church for a social reason, because of some benefit. They get from it or maybe because they were they're pressured and they're really bad at saying no so they go but they don't have any faith so you can kind of understand that as like they were invited they they came in with the guests but they didn't actually have the faith they they weren't actually connected to Christ um, so this signifies the righteousness of God the garment signifies the righteousness of God and Someone not wearing it has rejected that, it has not come uh, clothed in faith. So that's kind of the connection we see here. Like I said, this is kind of a tough parable, um, but I think it's a, a, uh, a motivator for us to be in mission so that we can keep people, we can be the, the tool of the Holy Spirit to keep people from being kicked out into the outer darkness. So that's the parable we have for today. Brothers and sisters, go in peace. Serve the Lord. Thanks be to God.